There's some really amazing legendary game franchises out there and sometimes it's awesome just to emulate them in mod form inside other games like Minecraft. That's why in this video I'm going to do a showcase of the top 10 Minecraft mods which are based off already existing game titles. Without further ado, let's get into the list. Number 10, Dark Souls mod. This mod is based off the Dark Souls games and it introduces different types of armors that give you bonuses like strength, speed boosts, speed nerfs and different enchantments to the player like protection. There's also a large collection of different blades in here, so you'll see things like broadswords, fast thin blades, daggers, bandit knives, dragon tooths and crystal greatswords for an example. For some really sweet looking medieval fantasy armor sets, look no further than this mod if you love Dark Souls and dark fantasy type gear. It would be really cool to pair this mod too with a different mod like Epic Fight Mod, although I can't remember if it actually goes all the way back to 1.7.10. Number 9, DayZ Mod. This DayZ mod brings the world of DayZ into Minecraft by introducing the zombie apocalypse and its infection that wiped out humanity. You must survive in the wasteland in this mod against the new infected zombies by defending yourself solo or as a team in a chilling new landscape to tackle. With crawler zombies, walkers and other tough foes, you'll explore new structures in this mod, like camps and towers, and utilise a range of different melee and ranged weapons, all whilst looting to survive and defend yourself. Number 8, Mine Watch. This is based on Overwatch, and this mod brings the game's heroes, armor, and their weapons to the game. There's a giant collection of heroes to use in this mod too. You'll see Reaper, Widowmaker, Genji, Hanzo, McCree, Tracer, Junkrat, and more of the many popular heroes of the game that you may be familiar with if you've actually played it before. Heroes can also be spawned as AI-based bots in the form of mobs that have customizable options to configure them, spawning with the hero's equipment and utilizing their attacks and abilities. Heroes drop tokens that are used to craft their weapons and armor. Using the Mindwatch in-game interface, you can look at the mod's maps, hero collection and options, as well as change your skins. All of the weapons and abilities simulate their Overwatch counterparts. They function really well in terms of the original references they're being based off, and the graphics and model quality in this mod is super awesome. Number 7, Monster Hunter Frontier Craft. In this Monster Hunter mod, you explore a world full of brand new monster mobs from the Capcom franchise with a quest game give it in villages to start you off on your journey. The hunter's crafting system lets you utilize your quest rewards to craft different pieces of equipment, like several new armor sets and weapons. The legendary weapons in this mod are awesome and they come in the form of giant swords and blades and the monster mobs inside here are huge. This is still a work in progress mod, but it's really unique in its concept. Number 6, Team Fortress 2 Teleporter. Introducing one of the most iconic features of Team Fortress 2, the engineer's teleporter, this mod brings a HD item of the teleporter in a craftable form that you can use to teleport players or mobs. You build two different teleporters which are then linked and then transport you to each node just like in the original game. Number 5, Five Nights at Freddy's Mod 2.0. This mod is based off of the second FNAF game which brings almost all of the animatronics from that game to Minecraft. During the daytime mobs are neutral but at night time they turn into dangerous foes that will attack you unless you have a Freddy head or mask equipped. Most mobs in here carry items with some dropping good loot like ingots. Each animatronic can be spawned with their own respective spawn eggs and they have different stats like jump heights and movement speeds making each of them a little bit different to defeat and face. Each of the mobs have different sounds and death sounds and there's mini bosses and boss mobs like Golden Freddy which you'll have to fight and face off in this mod. Number 4 Skyrim Craft this mod introduces many items, weapons and visual features from Bethesda's world of Skyrim that aims to convert Minecraft into an RPG game with the style of The Elder Scrolls V. You can now have the fatigue, health and mana bars from Skyrim as well as the top displaying compass on the screen as well as a menu showcasing your skills, magic, items and map menus just like in Skyrim. There's also a store interface showcasing viable weapons and items in game. There's a rather decent sized collection of items and weapons from Skyrim in the mod such as the highly effective Daedric weapon set as well as some of the other armor sets too to show off. Number 3 Assassin Craft Bring the universe of Assassin's Creed to the game and become Ezio Auditori with access to all of the stealth gear that you'll need, from cloaks to shroud your appearance to the different swords and blades that they utilize. With a faster firing crossbow, tomahawks, 
daggers, hidden blades and more, this mod has some pretty fresh features. There's also some other weapons like warhammers and throwing knives, as well as armour from other key characters like Altair and Connor Kenway from some of the other games in the Assassin's Creed series as well. You can also find things like lootable chests and structures with different mobs and enemies within. Number 2 Halo Craft 2.0 This Forge mod aims to recreate many of the key features and feelings of the original Halo Combat Evolved title, letting you fight enemies of the Covenant, utilise many of the UNSC's key weapons and resources and use some of the most iconic video game vehicles like the Scorpion, Mongoose, Phantom and more too. You can use health packs to heal yourself and you will see an all new HUD interface display when playing which shows a visor effect which makes you feel like you're wearing Master Chief's suit. There's a few other vehicles too like the Warthog off-road car and the Covenant's Ghost which are pretty fun to ride around and the models for each of these vehicles are extremely high quality. Number 1 Pixel Mod Pixelmon is one of the most popular mods and mod packs of all time in Minecraft. It bases itself off Pokemon and it theoretically brings the Pokemon world to life in blockified form, adding many aspects of Pokemon such as a huge diverse collection of wonderfully quality modelled Pokemon creatures to the game. This mod brings the ability to breed normal and legendary Pokemon as well as battle with them and trade with other players. There's a huge diverse item list in the mod, with different Pokeballs to catch Pokemon and new decorative blocks too. There's many different battle mechanics based off the Generation 8 games with some original features deviating from games or that are just based off the cartoons. There's Pokemarts that sell the Pokeballs and sell medicine and NPC trainers and gyms. You can heal your Pokemon and battle naturally spawning Pokemon around the world which are all across the overworld rather than just the random encounters which you have to fight in the original Pokemon titles. And that concludes the top 10 Minecraft mods based on other games. This was a fan video request so if you have any other ideas for mods or genres of mods you want me to cover or video ideas drop them in the comments below. Also let me know which is your favourite of the top 10 mods I featured in this video and why. Make sure to like and subscribe with notifications turned on. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I'll now showcase some more footage of some of these mods at the end of the video for you to check them out a little bit more closely. YouTube says 97% of you are not subscribed so if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and slap the like button for more Minecraft mod videos like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.